Hello everyone, I'm Crazy Pokemon Fan and welcome to my new channel. Today we have the Trainer's Toolkit and we'll be unboxing it. Now, how I got this is pretty funny because I went to Target today and the Pokemon section was just bare. The only things there were a couple of those packs that come with those mini binders and a few theme decks. Now, I was looking around, I went to the sports section, I was just looking. And all of a sudden I find this, it was hidden behind some stuff, <laughs> and you know, this definitely doesn't belong in the sports section, so I was thinking to myself, and my theory is, that someone hid this and was coming back for it, so I'm pretty sure I just ruined someone's day, but anyways, let's look at the contents. This includes more than 50 useful cards to power up your decks, including dozens of trainer cards, and two Dedenne GXs, not bad. Special versions of Poke Gear 3.0, Pokemon Communication, and the reset stamp with all new art. More than 100 energy cards, including special energy, and four Pokemon TCG booster packs, another nice add on. Along with 65 card sleeves to protect your deck, a deck builder's guide, a complete Pokemon TCG rulebook, a set of seven tournament legal dice, two condition markers, and a code for the Pokemon TCG online game. Obviously, some great value and it's definitely worth it if you want to get into professional playing. So anyways, we have our handy dandy scissors here. Let's open it up. Plastic's hard to open sometimes. Alright, but it opened up, ready to go, this slides out, trainer's toolkit, wow, already, you have your dice, some poison and burnt markers, and already some nice packs. Sun and Moon, Crimson, oh, Burning Shadows. You have Sword and Shield, R Rebel Clash, and Rebel Clash. So that's cool. And then here, a nice trading card game rules book. That's pretty cool. And then the deck building guide. Now, I've played professionally before. Uh, that would probably help because even though I've played professionally, it doesn't mean I've won professionally. So that's a big deck of Pokemon cards. Let's see how we're going to open this. Oh, there we go. Let's see what we got. I think these are the energy cards. Yep, all the energy cards. Comes with a variety of energies. So I could see where that plays into the deck building. All energies. 100 in energies. I don't see any special that might be in the other packs that we have. Put that off to the side. And then, wow, those are some nice sleeves there. Definitely pretty unique. And then yes, our look at that. The Dene GX, that's pretty nice card. Beautiful. I just have to try to open it up without damaging the card. There we go. Nothing scissors can't do. So it comes with two Dedenes. Man, those are beautiful. You have to sleeve that one. Let's we have Mallow and Lana, two of them, Boss's Orders, Pokey Gear 3.0. Oh, 
that's really nice. Quick ball. Oh, fire crystal. I've never seen that one before. Rare candies. Energy spinner. That's a new one. These are all sword and, or most of these are sword and shield cards. Some of are sun and moon. There's switch. Tool scrapper. Metal saucer. Oh, there is our special energy we were looking for. Welder. The reset stamp. New art. It's really nice. The Ordinary Rod. We have, wow, Pokemon Communications. And I have to admit, this is really nice. Marnie. Air Balloon. Turfield Stadium. I don't think I've gotten that card yet. A Vitality Band. Giant Hearth. Another Special Energy. Twin Energy. Green's Exploration. I don't... I don't have that one yet. So that was that's exciting. Another tool scrapper, Awara in our energy. That's unique. Professor's research, another welder, evolution and sense. It's pretty cool. Another speed energy, another reset stamp. Another fire crystal, boss's orders, Marnie. Rare Candy, Quick Ball, another Pokemon Communications, Poke Gear. Really nice art. Switch, Metal Saucer, Aura Energy, Ordinary Rod. Just a lot of cards that we've gotten already. Twin Energy, Professor's Research, Turf Field, Energy Spinner. And Gina Hearth, Green's Exploration, and an Air Balloon. That's pretty cool. Uh, the the Dene GX is what strikes out to me the most. That's really cool. Then we have the code. Come with me. This nice box. Beautiful. And now the time has come. Open the pack. So let's see, we're gonna start out with Sun and Moon. Alrighty, we start out with Lady Ball, Caterpie, Sandy Gas, Vinipede, Sneasel. Oh wow. Nice ride you. Crab Minol. An energy. Bodybuilding Dumbbells, one of my favorite cards. I use this a lot in my deck. Acelerola and Desclops. So now let's do Sword and Shield. And I swear these packs are getting harder and harder to open the new ones, at least. The newer Sun and Moon ones and the Sword and Shield ones. To be careful here, you don't cut into the cards. That would be tragic, especially if we've got a secret rare card. Ooh, we start off with Coughing, not bad. Bronzer, Toxel, Litwick, Lotad. Wow, that's nice hollow heat more. Oh, wow, that's a really nice luxury. That's a nice hollow. A leaf energy or grass energy. Training court, dub blade, and then lombre to round it up. So now let's do another sword and shield. I always get nervous that I'm gonna cut into the Pokemon cards. Nope, we didn't. So we start off with Trutal, Rhyhorn, Rookie D, Krabby. Oh wow, that's a really nice Grookey. A bit of Lidity Band. It's pretty cool. Thievul, 
psychic energy, Pokemon Center Lady seeking, and we wrap it up with a Hitmonchan. So now, the Rebel Clash Pack. Please be a secret Rebelabim. Max, that would be so cool. So we're going to wrap it up with a, or we're going to start it off with a Daryamaka, a Bunnelby, Bullpex, Phantom, Galarian Farfetch, one of my favorites from Sword and Shield, Voltorp, and a Volton V. So, all right. Nice Volton V. We'll definitely have to sleeve that one. A Dark Energy, Palpitoad, Capture Energy. That's really cool. And it, we'll wrap things up. Chat up. That was our fourth and final pack. So, all right, we got a Volton V. We got the two Dedenne GXs. 100 energy cards. I mean, just a lot of great value in that box. So, I definitely recommend it if you're getting into the game. Or if you're a long-time collector like me. I've been collecting for six years now, since 2015, since the X... Y days. So yeah, thanks for watching.